Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to a new lesson in English. Today's lesson is asking for advice and giving advice. Yes, communication. By the end of les this lesson, what will we be able to do? We will be able to ask and give advice related to health issues. As usual, we have dialogues and questions. Study these situations. Why? To answer the question, of course. What's Jamal's problem? Jamal, the schools are closed and there will be no chance to interact with my classmates. What's your advice? Amen. That's true. I advise you to invite your classmates to a WhatsApp group to discuss the lessons presented on our national TV, Rabia. Jamal, yep, that's a great piece of advice. Thank you. Now, what's Jamal's problem? That's your problem, all of you. Jamal will miss interaction with his classmates as schools are closed. Now, underline the expression Ayman used to ask for advice from his friend and underline the expression Jamal used to give advice to his friend. And so, what's your advice? How do we give or how does Jamal give the advice? I advise you to, to invite, to eat, to practice sports, etc, etc. Now let's pass to the second situation. What's Sylvia's problem? Shall we read the dialogue together? Okay, Sylvia, you know what? Many graduates are leaving their country to find better opportunities. As a student, I really don't know what to do. Julia, well, if I were you, or if I were in your shoes, I would be very careful on what to study after high school. Studying certain subjects will surely make you think of going abroad. What's Sylvia's problem? Any idea? What's Sylvia's problem? Okay, shall we answer the question? Okay, go ahead. Sylvia doesn't know what to do when she graduates. Do you know what to do when you graduate? Mm, you should start thinking of it. Now, the same way we proceeded with the first situation, and the line the expression Sylvia used to ask for advice from her friend. And Underline the expression Julia used to advise her friend, not his, her friend. I really don't know what to do. This is how she shows that she needs advice. And how does her friend give her advice? If I were in your shoes, I would. Third situation, again, coronavirus. What problem is the journalist talking about? Journalist, what do you think Moroccan citizens should do to get safe from coronavirus pandemic? A doctor, well, the situation is serious, but they should not panic. They ought to stay at home to keep themselves and their families safe. This is the best measure one can take to stop the spread of the virus. Journalist, what about serious cases? A doctor, in this case, they need to call, hello, 
one four one or o eight o one o o four seven four seven. Got it? Okay. Now let's answer the question. What is the journalist talking about? I'm sure you know the answer now. The journalist is talking about the coronavirus pandemic. Now, again, underline the expression the journalist used to ask for advice and underline how does the doctor give advice. Shall we correct? Go ahead. What do you think Moroccans should do or we should do, I should do, etc.? How do we give the advice? They ought to stay at home. Now, match the following exchanges with their functions. Steve, we've got our bag stolen. What should we do? Bob, if you take my advice, you'll go to the police. Number two, woman, I strongly appreciate the sense of solidarity expressed by some people during this time of hardship. Her neighbor, that's right. It is really so great to see people helping each other. Jack, you keep complaining all the time. Why don't you consider changing your job? I love to, but it's hard to find one these days. Now, the expressions. So the first one is asking for and giving advice. Great! The second one, I strongly appreciate. That's right. Is it expressing agreement or making a suggestion? Yes, yes, great. It's expressing agreement. And the third one, of course, the only one left. Making a suggestion. Now, let's move to filling the table with expressions of asking for and giving advice. Do you remember them? Of course, from the situations, from where are you going to get them? How do we ask advice? Hmm? Any idea? Shall we correct? Go ahead. What's your advice? I advise you to. This is giving advice. Asking for advice again? I really don't know what to do. If I were in your shoes, or if I were in your place, shoes or place, I would. The third one, what do you think I should do or we should do? The ought to, should, had, better. These are expressions of advice. Now, ready to do task number four, match the situation with the pieces of advice. Okay, we read again. My classmates call me names. They say I'm too fat. I feel really sad. I have talked to them, but they don't stop bothering me. Bad friends. Two. My sister spends hours on her mobile. She likes sharing think, sharing anything with her friends. Her friends got bored with this, but they are afraid to tell her about it. I'm worried about her. Number three, my brother is considering going abroad to find a better job. I don't know how to convince him. Okay, number, which one goes with which? 
one, two, and three, and we have A, B, C, and D. Yes, we have one more, you can notice. So one, it doesn't go with any sentence, of course. Shall we correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so number one is A. My sister spends hours on her mobile. She likes sharing anything with her friends. If I were you, or if I were in your shoes, I would show her what her friends share on their social media pages. Or maybe you should explain things to her in a direct way. Number two. My brother is considering going abroad to find a better job. What should I do? You'd better tell him that people can be successful regardless of the country where they live. The last one. My best friend Sandra loves eating chocolate, etc., etc. I advise you to go jogging with your friend and practice some sports. Maybe she eats a lot because she is anxious. And she needs to do something different in her routine. Good job, dear students. Now, task number five, respond to the following situations. Here is the situation. What will you say in this situation? Of course, you express what? You express advice. Journalist, it's hard to convince many graduates to stay in their home country. What measures should our government take to solve this issue? Answer. One, two, three, pop it up. The government should work hard to provide job opportunities for its graduates. Should advice. Lemia, my friend finds it hard to decide on what to study at a university. What's your advice for her? Any advice? You all have this problem of not knowing what to study in university. Who can help you? Of course, you can help yourself. How? I advise her to study what most interests her. Of course, when you do something you love, you excel at it. And good luck for you all. Now for homework as usual. Record, record a short video or audio where you give advice to your classmates on how to act as a good citizen, especially in this period of virus spread. Or you ask or advise your classmates on how to decide on what to, to study at university. Three, you express what the Moroccan government should do to keep university graduates in their country. When you finish, you choose one of these, one, two, or three. You record a video or an audio and you share your recording on your favorite social media platform. WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. etc. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. Goodbye.